diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds, and we are presented by the Hula Bowl. Uh, today I have with me Jalen Monroe. He's a defensive back out of Tulane University. How's it going, sir? I'm going good. What about you? Doing well. Uh, nice to have you on. Um, tell us just a little bit about yourself, maybe just um, your background, where you're from, and just kind of get us uh, up to speed there at uh, Tulane. Hey, I'm Jalen Monroe, of course. Um, I came from West Mesquite High School. Um, Coach Hampton, um, Chris Hampton, he had recruited me out of high school at Tulane University, and he's a big reason why I'm here today. Cool. So, I mean, coming out of, um, like, the Dallas, Texas area, I mean, were there any other schools that had offered you at the time? I mean, uh, what made uh, what made your choice to go to Tulane, like, uh, easy for you? Why did you choose that school? Really, it just felt like home. Like it felt home, like they brought me in under my under their wings. And like I said, Coach Hampton played a big part of it. The coaching staff, they just felt like home, felt like family. So it was just a natural feeling. And I just felt that it was best. Great. So um, again, I'd introduce you as a defensive back. So uh, I, I don't know exactly where to put you on the field, but tell me a little bit about your uh, experience level. Um, where are you at on the field just in general? I play a little bit of nickel as well. I play nickel in um, corner because they like me in a slot for sometimes matchup reasons. So, but majority I'm on the outside, but hopefully you guys say the same. I'm at the next level. Um, I feel like I'll be in a nickel position. And how would you describe yourself as, as that uh, defender? I mean, some people really take pride in like, uh, you know, like their press man or their zone coverage or, or what have you. I mean, how would you kind of define like your, your overall skill set? Um, the main thing is press, press man. I love man coverage. I feel like no one else is going to be able to play man like I do. If I give up a catch or if a ball is caught on me, it's going to always, forever, I mean, it's firmly, always be tight coverage. You're going to have to work for the ball. Like It's not going to be an easy catch. So that's a big part of my game and that takes me to the next level. I'm also very quick and I'm fast as well. So it's hard to get away from me. And um, I was just going to ask, um, are you um, very active on special teams as well? Yes, I play flyer. Um, I'm also the hold up guy. I'm on kickoff. So yeah, I play, really play all four, four, well, all phase and stuff for like kickoff return. Gotcha. You ever return any kicks or punts or anything like that? Out of high school, yeah. But when I got to Tulane to see like <laughs> like they like offensive guys back there, primarily offensive guys. So yeah, I mean, obviously you got some some guys there that um, you know, got got some serious speed, very great playmakers that you know your coaches or you have given them the opportunity to go out there and, and take those returns. But um I'm just thinking like maybe like um like if you were invited somewhere else, like, you know, if you have at least some practice doing that, at least recently. So, I mean, um, when I first got to Tulane, they had put me back there and I never dropped the ball. <laughs> I mean, it's just. I maybe they're, the maybe they're saving you. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe that, maybe that's, that's what it's it. All right. All right. <laughs> we got a reason. We got to reason it somehow. So, um, <laughs> is there maybe a player in the league that you would say, um, you either admire, look up to, or even model your game after? Um, currently, if I had to pick a corner right now, it would be Jair, Jair Alexander or Jason Verrett. But overall, it would be uh, Brent Grimes. We very, very similar. Same body type, same athletic ability, very similar. And so do you, do you see yourself projecting to the pro, pro level, like as a nickel? Is that kind of like what you are expecting, what, what people have been telling you? Is that kind of the, the oh, yeah. gist? Okay. 100%. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, Jalen, let's uh, kind of uh, work our way into talking about some football a little bit more. Um, tell me just a little bit about your game prep, like as you're prepping up for your next opponent. I mean, I realize we're talking as your bye week, but like – just kind of a, a general week, you know, like, you know, you go in there, film room, weight room, uh, just kind of give me a, a rough idea of what you're doing. 
Okay, so of course we practice like Monday through Thursday. Friday is like, a, um, say we're talking about a Saturday game. So Friday, it'll be like a lighter day. So Monday I will lift, Wednesday I will lift. Throughout the whole week of practice, um, I will, of course I'll practice hard, but majority of the time, like Tuesday is our main like grind day. Um, every day, every day at nighttime, I have to watch film and I break down my opponents. I break down the first down, second down, third down. So Monday I do first down, Tuesday I do second down, Wednesday third, you know, and so forth. And um, as far as game day, um, I just, of course I write notes during, like throughout the week. So game day, I'll review my notes or the night before, of course. And um, also I have a daughter, no one knew. And before, I always have this little book of her, of pictures of us too. And like, I flip through the pictures and look at them and she reminds me of my reason why I do this. So I play for her because I want to be able to provide for her, of course. So sure, she's my sure. reason why, and that just that keeps me going. Sure. So, um, just kind of talking about like your general, like overall, like prep. I mean, obviously a lot goes into that. I mean, you gotta, you know, uh, watch film. Like you said, you also got also got to do your lifts. Um, and I was thinking about a guy like you who, um, you know, isn't the biggest guy out there, but I mean, you have uh, put on a little bit of muscle since you've been there at at Tulane. So. Uh, when you're in the weight room, what is your general mentality? Like, what are you what are you trying to accomplish there? Really, just control what I can control. You know, put on as much as weight, good weight as possible. Like, I know the weight will come. Don't just try to overdo it. It's going to come and just stay out there. And so I, I, I have accepted the fact. I know it used to bother me, but I accepted the fact that I'm not going to be the biggest corner, which it doesn't matter. But you know, it is what it is. Hey, man, there are guys out there. That, they don't need to be big. You know, they, they, exactly. Sometimes people play bigger than what they are. You know, that's just kind of, you know, how it goes. But um, so are you like a, a, a big leg guy, like in the weight room? Is that kind of your uh, your thing? Yeah, I squat. I think my max, the most I've squatted is like 520. That's not that's not bad for a guy your size. So, I mean, that's, that's, right. that's pretty nice. So um, when you think about the film room, let's kind of shift gears there. I mean, give me an example of when you took the time to study your opponent and it really paid off in uh, in a game time situation. So you studied somebody, whoever it, that may be, and then get us get us there to game day. Like give us that example as to how that paid off. Okay, let me see. I will say, I can talk about two. I can talk about Hazelwood, Jaden Hazelwood from OU and Braylon Sanders from Ole Miss. So the first game of the season, um, Jaden Hazelwood, I always knew him, knew of him. He had a big name. And I always knew like he was a jump ball guy. So I noticed like every time he have a, like if he have a bigger corner on him, they might not take the shot as much in the red zone. But if you have a smaller guy in the red zone that's covering him one-on-one, -on -one, they're taking that shot like nine times out of 10, almost 100% of the time. So I noticed that um, it was, um, was going into their um, goal line. And I had looked at the formation and it was like a three by one formation. And I noticed it was just me and him over there. And I looked at uh, Spencer Rattler, of course. I looked at Spencer, and um, he had gave him, like, some little hand sign. I don't know what it meant, but I had an idea. Like, I was like, okay, this is the fade ball. Here it comes. So um, they snapped the ball. And um, I was, like, kind of – I kind of anticipated. I jumped outside, um, and he ran a fade, and I broke it up. And another example I can give, um, Braylon Sanders. I was watching him on film. He was fast. He was quick. He was a good receiver, solid receiver. But I noticed like whenever he's, when he cut his split down tight, he's not running a fade ball because he's threatening people with his speed all the time. But I feel like a lot of maybe DBs or coaches didn't pick up on when he cut his split down, he's running an over out across the field. So he ran an over out across the field on me and I broke that ball up. But I knew due to my film study that that was coming. So that Nice. Was well, I mean, again, again, I mean, it's just kind of some examples of like how you have over the course of time, you know, uh, learned how to break down film and anticipate those sorts of things from your opponents. And some of the guys that you had mentioned there, I mean, obviously you're, you're playing like top tier talent. I mean, if people don't know who you're talking about, I mean, uh, everybody in your conference and then some, I mean, you're, you're, you're playing against like the best quarterbacks, the, the best wide receivers. So I mean, you've definitely been challenged a whole lot, you know, ever since coming in there uh, to, right. to Tulane. Um, Interestingly, though, I mean, you're you've been at Tulane for a while. I mean, you're actually a super senior, right? 
So um, you took advantage of this whole opportunity to come back because of the pandemic. They said, hey, you know what? If you want to come back, you can. Um, what went into your decision to, um, to, to do that? I mean, uh, why'd you want to come back for one more season? Um, really? It was, of course, because the pandemic, no one knew if there was going to be bowl games, you know, um, pro days. And I wanted to be able to showcase my talent, like showcase what I can do, like far as testing numbers. That played a big factor in me coming back. Um, also, I talked about Coach Hampton earlier. He had left and went to Duke University for the DB coach of the 2020 season. And um, our head coach had hired him the next season to bring him back as the defensive coordinator. And I knew with him being my defensive coordinator, he was going to set me up in the best position to make the best plays. And that played a big part of it. Because like, I look at him as like a like a father figure. That's the type of relationship we have. Kind of like the love-hate relationship as well, though. You know, when he owned me, I hate it. But I mean, I understand this football. I got to take special criticism. He want me to be the best and reach my potential. So him coming back was a huge reason why I came back as well. Great. I mean, again, kind of talking about coaches there, what do you think is like the best lesson that you've ever learned from a coach? What sticks out to you? Um, Coach JJ, he had JJ McCleskey. He played for the Saints for eight years, actually. Um, so he was telling me, because he had got there my, my sophomore year, and, you know, coming out of high school, you was that guy. So I didn't, I wasn't used to, like, getting beat. I mean, I don't get beat often, but, like, it happens from time to time. So, like, it was one play I had got beat, and it was actually in practice. I kept getting beat, actually, kind of consistently. I was having a bad day. And he was saying, um, you're not going to win everything. You're not going to win all your battles. He said, just stay confident, and everything will take care of itself. So, And I, I kind of, like, I didn't ignore it, but the next practice I had remembered, and I had the same reps against the same guy, and I dominated him that day. And it made sense to me, like, it's going to happen sometimes. You got to bounce back and forget about it. So he really taught me just let things go. Yeah, I mean, as you come in as a freshman, you have to go through some sort of growth period. So um, maybe that was just it for you. You just kind of needed someone to just kind of lift you up at least one more time and just say, you know what, like, Jalen, like, you can get it, man. You can get through this uh, for sure. So um, nice. Yeah, great stuff there. Um, so... Um, Real quick, uh, uh, tell me something about a couple of your teammates there. Who impresses you the most or who has impressed you the most uh, during your time there at Tulane? Um, it's a lot of guys. I know it's a lot. Maybe get, a lot. maybe give me like a, just a couple real quick. I'll give you a couple. Okay, I'll give you Marvin Moody, linebacker, at number zero. Larry Brooks, our safety, number 31. Um, a Johnny Kerr, number twenty-one. Um, he plays nickel. He um, he had grew like he got much better when he get, first got out there. He kind of was like learning. He kind of like started off slow, but from when he had first got there to now, he took a big jump. So him and um, if I give you a, a bonus one, I'll say Jaden Kennedy. He was a, he's a true freshman. He actually starts for us. He's good. Wow, so definitely, definitely got to keep an eye on him for sure over the years. So, um, yeah. let's get a chance to know who Jalen Monroe is outside of a football player. Tell me a little something about yourself that you um, really want people to know. Something fun, something interesting, um, hobbies, interests, what have you. Go for it, man. Give me something. So outside of football, I'm a photographer and videographer. Um, it's something I just love to do. Like. I love like helping people promote their businesses. I like taking I like taking pictures of people, weddings, anything I can do, basically everything. I also have an Instagram you can follow. It's S H the number nine T and S. So like shots, but instead of a, a O, it's a nine. And I just this is something I love doing. I'm actually working on like a little Starbucks commercial that should be coming out like in probably like two or three days. It should be uploaded on my Instagram. So I'm um, just doing it for fun, just to build my portfolio. But I've also had a lot of companies reach out for certain things. But, you know, right now, as of right now, I'm trying to lock in on this season. So. No, I hear you. Um, so um, Starbucks guy, I guess. Right, you go there often? I mean, you got like your no, coach. No, I don't. I don't. I don't, okay, I don't right. No. 
All right. Uh -huh. no, well, okay. Um, tell me something more about yourself. Something fun. Um, uh, let's say um, favorite uh, favorite snack food. Let me see favorite snack. Food. Gotta go with chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate chip cookies, or we can go chocolate chip muffins. I like those too. All right, all right. Um, Scooby Doo snacks. You can never go wrong with Scooby Doo snacks. <laughs> I, I, I got you. Uh, favorite movie? You got a favorite movie you you love? Roscoe Jenkins. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, let's say um, if what would you do with your first paycheck from the NFL? What would be the first thing that you would have to buy? Like again like hypothetically like no money is like like you get you have any whatever money you got to do with so first thing i'm buying is a private jet <laughs> private jet a private jet <laughs> private jet all right all right well i don't know how much you're going to get with that first paycheck but i mean uh yeah you said you said just yeah, yeah 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 no i get you um, <laughs> So um, you got to be number one overall now, uh, you know, Jalen Monroe, Tulane, number one overall. We're, count, we're, we're calling it right now. Um, it. Hey, um, as we begin to wrap up, I always try and ask this question to everybody. Just, uh, uh, you, you did kind of touch on it a little bit. You talked about your why really being the fact that you're a father, which I think is great. Um, you know, you, got, you have that motivation behind you. Um, but uh, let's get to your pitch to uh, all these teams in the NFL as to why they really need to pay attention to you and even give you the opportunity to play at the next level, come and join their program. I mean, what do you got to say to all those uh, scouts out there, to all those teams? First, you want to get a guy that's a team player. First thing first, I'm going to do anything for the team to be able to be successful. That's the main goal. Two, you want to get a guy that can play man coverage on anybody in the league, anybody. And if I give up a catch, it's going to be tight coverage. I'm fast, I'm quick, um, I'm very confident, and I'm not bagging out for no challenges from nobody. So, like, you want to get a guy that's all in, is disciplined as well, and is just ready to go and do whatever is best for the team to get a W, of course. Yeah, I mean, uh, and, I mean, we've kind of talked about it a little bit, but, you know, a guy who's willing to put in the work and learn and become the best player possible and be a great teammate, um, you know, again, just kind of talking about like how you have grown over the years, how you have, you know, dot, you know, gone into the film room and, and really bettered yourself and make it, make it count in a game time situation. So um, definitely a guy that I feel can, can come in, like you said, I mean, uh, work on the outside, come in, play nickel, um, you know, maybe play some special teams, being a gunner or what have you, but uh, a def definitely a solid teammate um, to have out there for, for anyone, for any team, really. So, uh, right. Jalen, this has been cool, man. I really appreciate your time. Um, and uh, thanks again for, for this interview, all right? Yes, sir. No doubt. Thank you for having me. All right. Uh, again, I, I got uh, Jalen Monroe. He's a defensive back at a Tulane University. Um, thanks again. Thank you.